if I talk to y'all tonight, I'm looking for some strippers for a strip party. Y'all ready? Did you see that shit just two seconds ago we said no? I was talking to y'all. Mother you motherfucker! Hello and welcome back to Sisters of Game. I'm Jade. I am Big Pimpy. And thank you for tuning in to another episode of Fabulous Angela's High School Reunion. Where last we left, um, Miss Thing was having her some emotions. <laughs> Right? And some imaginaries that we approve of because you know we love that kind of shit. Except she should really put her hands put her around. hands on her neck. I wish she had. She need to. I, I'm really feeling like she gonna need to really whip Janet ass. Make Fran proud by checking out customers with a heart. Damn you, Fran. Damn you, Fran. That means none of that bullshit you be doing. I know, I got it, I got it, I got it. Alright, we ain't got no money. You sure don't. We ain't got no money. Alright, here we go. A time for listening. Hello there, friend. Are the girls here? Do you see the girls, bitch? Um... Uh. Do you see the girls, bitch? <laughs> if you look around, you'll see my whole establishment is empty. Why don't you bend over and let me go ahead and hit that from the back? <laughs> Where did that come from? <laughs> oh my god, no more early morning recordings for well, me. Well, okay, but make it quick. <laughs> no thank you, in other words. You came all the way here from France and you don't want authentic New York coffee? Look at the face he got. He's like, bitch, please. Bitch, you better come on back here and get you some of this friend coffee. I prefer tea. Okay. I'm going to tell you the tea. You need to change them clothes because you're ugly as hell. Bitch, the library is open. I'll tell you all the tea you want to know. You look like you're about 50. You better get some of this while you can still get it. <laughs> so why are you here anyway? Back of my neck looked like Frank. Mm. That's more story than I want to tell you. Well, you know, long stories are the ones worth listening to, and you know I'm a good listener. Mm. Especially you little snowflakes. Hi, friend. Hey, Janet girl. Hey, kitty, can you take over the kitchen while I talk with our new friend? I haven't slept with this one yet, and you know I always sleep with my holes before I put them on the stroll. That's just good pimpology. Sure, I mean, I just walked in and everything, and I'm a customer, but yeah, I'll go ahead and work your establishment. That bitch work here. She don't work here. Kitty don't work. She helps out. She do work here. I tell you what, if I... No, she don't. Not regularly. No. Kitty don't work here. So what's she been doing this whole episode? She been helping him out. But I tell you what, every second customer would go in my pocket. Mm, that's real help right there. It's true. Mouse. He popped up right in front of me. Yeah, here's some of my cactus tea. There's some prickles in there for you. <laughs> Extra prickles. <laughs> <laughs> Prickle ain't the word. What is the word? Uh, uh, thorns? No, it's not thorns on a cactus, is it? Um, what is the word? What is word? extra struggle. He talked the whole shift. Sharp. Damn, she did have a long story. Shit. Cool. At the end, Fran did not get no coochie. Womp womp -a -dum. Not that we saw, but you know, he could hit it from the back. He got, he got, he got it like that. So I'll meet you later tonight. Look, you got to tell the girl the truth. It is hard. So she told a stranger. She told a stranger her life story. That's what we that's what just happened. Sometimes 
I guess. She depends on the kindness of caterers. But I can't tell her before her own prom. That would devastate her. It's too emotional and too much drama even for me. She deserves a, a good prom night like I never had. Plus, if I tell her, it will ruin my second prom night. And this is my chance to get it right. And I'm not going to do that. I wanted one and didn't get it. I, I can't deny her that, and I can't deny me that either. So we'll just have to wait till after. I promise I'll tell her then. I'll have ample time to explain everything to her, unless I'm in jail. And then I can't tell her that. Well, you know, you need to do what's right, so either you're gonna do it or you're gonna find an excuse not to do it. That is the truest statement I have ever heard <laughs> in life. You're going to do it or you're not. <laughs> you're going to you breathe or you're not. Either you're going to do it or you're going to find an excuse not to. But her prom is the whole reason we came back to the USA. Did they have proms in France? How the fuck do I know what they got in France? Okay. Are you really sure of that, girl? You came all the way here for a fucking party. Was it Fire Festival? <laughs> now why? Why wouldn't I be sure about this, Fran? Well, you know, that might have once been true, but maybe, you know, I don't know. Just don't forget, uh, you can't assume things will always be the same because things change. Who is he quoting? What song is that? Especially people. You sure changed because you look like an old bitch right there. He changed because he let this woman work this whole shift. He ain't did shit. Kitty mad as fuck. This motherfucker here. Oh, drop some donuts. Serve him fast so he could continue. Drop by for some donuts. Oh, I was going to say he dropped some donuts. Why am I serving the ones he dropped? That's nasty. But that's not what it <laughs> I'm says. I'm serving him. You drop him, you eat him. What's this? Alright. <laughs> we'll save up. She's still in our seat. This whole chair empty. She's sitting in my chair. No offense, Janet. I'm not sure we should be talking about this with you. Oh, I understand. I just want what's best for everybody. Including me. I mean, including Angela. She's been kind of acting like a bitch lately. Oh. Well, we thought when um, she got a new boyfriend, that would cure her tense problem. Who's Angela's new boyfriend? You seen that guy she with? Even going back to reunion can bring back all kinds of old memories. To the surface. Y'all seen Carrie. Never mind planning for one. This might be the last chance we get to see our old high school people. And actually now that I'm thinking about it, maybe we shouldn't bother trying to see them. We don't really like them. Well, I think we've decided. Angela's obviously overwhelmed and she needs help. So I'm going to take over. Okay. Um, it's time for my shift. Oh, you're right. I guess she do work there. I'm sure Angela's gonna like hearing about this, so I'm out. Oh, kitty, don't even worry about it. I'll help Fran out today. I'm gonna take over your life, too. I ain't gonna say no. You ain't getting my check, no bitch. Bye. Oh, okay, so Janet's gonna be the one working it. Serve Murray on time. Okay. Come cut up some of this pop. Go up there and clean it. You know what I'm asking you to do. There he is. Got him. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Yeah, why didn't you just buy a whole dozen? I like that you counted it.
I'm going to the back to get us something to drink. Hope you're old enough for what I'm getting ready to bring out. You! Do you remember who I am? Uh, yes. That's your line. <laughs> oh, yes, of course. Janet's daughter, which means you're probably too young for my smolder, so I'm going to tone it down. You're uh, Janet's daughter. Wait! Oui. <laughs> Wait! Oui. I like her bag is still yelling from last week. <laughs> <laughs> my bag is still screaming. You're here to stay. Uh, you want to stay away from here. So comprende? Comprende? So comprende? Whoa! What's this about? You can't tell me what to do, little lady. If anything, she's the one that can't stay away from me. A lovely story! Just because my father is missing, it doesn't mean you're letting you steal my mother away from him. Ah, damn, people got issues in this game. Um, Chloe, hold on a second. You don't got it all twisted up. Let's let's have a talk. You know, my dad wasn't around much either when I was your age. I didn't even know him really. And when he was around, or at least the guy my mother said was my dad really wasn't. We used to butt heads a lot. He wanted me to be a big football star at state like him. I wasn't about that noise. I just didn't feel it, you know. But I played all the reindeer games just the same because, you know, I was a kid. He never cared about what I wanted to be. I wanted to be an artist. And get the ladies. Oh, poor you. Really? I'm a photographer. Oops, sorry. And I didn't even have a daddy. Oh, that's a bold choice of role model. You want to show me your work sometime? I love how friendly these people are in this game. Yeah, it's not like real life at all. Or maybe it is, it's just not a real life we experience. Ugh, the customers are slower. Okay. For the customers. Normally, I would say you don't have to play the side quest because that's what I'm doing in the other game, you know, to get through it faster because I like to hear what the story is. But if you don't play the side, the side quest in this game, you don't get enough money. Let's buy the entertainer. Magic Max. Poof! I used the shit out of Magic Max in the real game, in the other game. His hair is fucking phenomenal. I love his hair. He, has, he brings his own wind. He's so magic. Look at how slow these motherfuckers are. I don't think he does. There he is. He's on the counter. Got him. Glad you saw him. And now he goes through life. Goes through life doing what? Wait on the rest of these customers. I'm not worried about that fucking low use. The whole counter was empty. She go line up behind the one person ordering. Spaz wanna bitch stuff these people sometimes. Amazing. This is better than the food and fire festival. Oh my god. Anything is better than that shit. Father material. You really know how to connect with Chloe. Huh? It's easy when you're just playing the daddy and you're not the daddy, you know? Right? Speaking of, why didn't you have any children of your own, Matt? I don't even like these motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> that should be Matt's next line. Mom, how do you know he doesn't have any children? Um, well, truthfully, uh, I don't like these motherfuckers. <laughs> I just didn't want them. Oh, that's too bad. Who wouldn't like to want, who wouldn't uh, want to have a father like you? Is Chloe flirting with him? Oh, thanks, little buttercup. Well, truthfully, it wouldn't have worked out for me. 
You don't know me. You just met me. I'm a shit heel. <laughs> I'm way too involved in my work. I I wouldn't want to start a family now under any circumstances. Jesus. Uh, well, I should, I, I'm keeping my secret. Well, I shouldn't tell you, but you you already started yes, a family. <laughs> you the daddy. <laughs> it's not that you started one. You find out you got one. And that you 16 years late on your child support, bitch. Right? And they're like... You Can know? you get the shit? Yeah. You know what you need to do? You need to wear the headphones. I can hear it. I just forgot to How the it. fuck can you hear it? I can't hear it. You can't hear that mouse. <laughs> <laughs> What's so funny? What's so funny? The way you said that! <laughs> oh god, that was funny! You can't hear that mouse. I'm laughing because I caught you in your lies. <laughs> that was the way you said it. I'm like, you can't tell me what I can hear and what I can't hear, but it was funny because you said you, you know, you're telling me. There he is. He is behind them. By the wall. The brick wall. Oh, I see it. There you go. Get out of here, bitch. The show's over. Bye, Magic Mike. You got fabulous ass, too. He walked funny, though. He's stiff. Matt, can I talk to you for a second? It only takes a second. Everything Matt does only takes a second. Ooh, damn. Um, well, <laughs> actually, it's about us. About what happened back in high school. Bitch, why are you bringing up old shit? Bitch, why are you bringing back up old shit? <laughs> it's good to see you, but I don't want to rehash that. But... Ah, oh, that's what he said! Like Pimpy said, why are you bringing up old shit? Matt, wait, wait, Matt. Janet, a first love, will always be special. But it's been about 15 years, I've let it go. And so have you let yourself go. <laughs> you are just these lines. But Matt, she's your baby! If only it were that easy. Fabulous! Ain't nothing fabulous about that. Okay. Alright, so that was three episodes. Bam, bam, bam. We're moving along. What did we learn? Fran's a lazy Nothing. ass. Matt's moved on. Janet's stuck in the past. Hey, that rhymes, kind of. <laughs> anyway, so we're going to leave this episode here. Tune in tomorrow at 5 o'clock. We have new videos every day at 5 o'clock, and that is Eastern Time. Like, comment, and subscribe, and you could share. So we tell your friends to listen. We won't mind. We'll save a place for y'all on the couch. Matter of fact, we could fit more than one person on this couch. We'll save a place for all y'all on the couch. And yeah, I got two pouches, so come on over. There you go. We got a floor, too. Bye! Bye! <laughs> Ain't gonna put our fans on the floor. If they want to see the show when the couches is full, where else they gonna sit? It's like Fire Island. I mean, Fire Festival. <laughs> yeah, $12,000. You go over here and have some cheese sandwiches with us. We got cheese, and we got better cheese, too. It's not, you know, that crappy stuff. We got good cheese here. <laughs> Bye! Sushi! <laughs>